Hey everybody, this is Rich Noto. I'm a Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector in Nota Republic. So right now I'm standing in front of the, well, excuse me, should I say I'm standing in front of one of the Meredith Homes communities, which is the Greens at Forest Lake. Now remember, if you're interested in a home over here or any place else, please do contact me first before you head over to any home builder. When you head over to any home builder, as you've probably heard me say hundreds of times, you may void your free realtor representation. Now, having free realtor representation is super important because I do work for you and represent you with the home builder trying to get you the best deal and all that good stuff and also keep you safe along the way. There are a lot of hazards when purchasing a new home. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. Let's go check out the models. Okay, everybody, so we're at the Greens at Forest Lake. We're gonna go in and check out this townhome. It's called the Windsor. Now, majority of what you see in the home is what the home is going to come with, so that's pretty cool. Windsor is 1,808 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. Let's, let's go inside and have a look. Today's been a rainy day. It's already rained twice or so. Very nice. Looks like the countertops are quartz over here. Very nice, very nice. I like it. I like the cabinets too. I like this type of uh, cabinet design over here. And you can see the entrance way, just a little little entrance way over there where there's a wall next to you. So let's head for this pantry. Okay, so over here we have a half bath. Now this is also the sales office, so of course I'm not going to walk into the sales office section, which is the garage. So let's see what we have in the rear over here. Okay, I'm going to go for a bit of an isometric view over here, kind of back into the corner and probably the only way to show you the room from up high. Okay, so let's go up to the second floor and have a look. Got a great master bedroom over here. Again, I'm gonna give you an isometric view of the room. Probably show it best. 
probably the top of my head is probably yeah that's not my head <laughs> very hard to get an isometric without my head being in the video <laughs> it seems to get into everything okay let's continue Very, very, very nice closet here. Really large for a for a townhome. I'm gonna show you how much floor space you have, so you could follow the the molding around the room and just see. Now I'm kind of in the corner, somewhat as far as I can get when I'm hitting my head on the on the shelves. This is a very nice bedroom, as you can see, there's a, give you some idea of the floor space, here's my feet. So definitely, definitely a very large master bedroom for a townhome. And actually, it's a very large bedroom, even for a single family home that's in the uh, same square footage. Definitely can't complain about the size of it. Pretty cool to have this little loft over here, I think. Let's take a look at the other rooms. We got two more bedrooms. Okay, so again for a townhome, I want to see how much space is, is in this closet. Yep. So for a townhome, you really have some nice room over here. Or should I say nice spacing in these bedrooms? And this is actually really nice too because you can only shut one of the doors and it's like you have a almost like you have a second master or a end suite or an attached bath or whatever you want to call it um you know it's nice you know so for example if you have two people living here you could potentially um you know shut the door and they could have a private bath as well okay so now what i want to do is i want to do a walk out here with me in the video just to give you a little size perspective of how big these rooms are on the way out. I'm gonna just poke back into this bedroom over here. Just so you can see it a little bit better with me in it and from up higher. I'm gonna walk down into the master bedroom as well. Just because I thought this master bedroom is fantastic and now that I'm seeing it again, I still really do like it. So you could see See all the room here. Plenty of space. Yeah, plenty of space in this master bedroom. Okay, so let's go down to the first floor and have another look.
Okay, everybody, so we are at the Greens at Forest Lake. I'm gonna go in and see this home. It's called the Oakville. 1,556 square feet, three beds, two and a half baths, two car garage, Meritage Homes. Let's check it out. Okay, so at just over 1,500 square feet, it's a smaller townhome. So let's see what it offers, because I have not been inside it yet. Let's see, probably the garage. Yep, we got a two-car garage over here. Looks to be the standard size, just based on the space next to each door. Here we have a, have a half bath. Well, you definitely have a nice big area to sit and watch TV and to eat. But at 1,500 square feet, this is a nice first home, especially for two people, maybe three, small family. I'm going to continue this way. Let's see what we have. I'm going to come back for that. That's just a closet. Here's your master bedroom. Again, a very big bedroom, just like the, the other townhome model here. I'm going to give you an isometric with the top of my head in it, of course. <laughs> Just can't get my head out of the viewer sometimes. There you go. Hopefully that showed you the room a little bit better. Okay. You got a decent closet for a, for a townhome of this square footage. Here's the laundry room. And here's that closet that I opened up. Close it.
This room's tight to, to video from the from the floor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a walk out with me in the video just so you could see kind of the size for perspective. Now what do I like about this home? I like this little loft thing that they have going on, kind of like a little sitting area over here. Um, you know, I guess just to kind of just to kind of make it a little bit different in a townhome. So if you do want to just, you know, be outside of the rooms up here, you can sit or however you want to set this up. You know, maybe you don't want to put anything here and you just want the extra space. So let's go down to the first floor. So over here, you know, you definitely have some nice room. It's kind of an open floor plan, but at 1500 square feet, you know, you can't expect too much out of it. So I think that they really did their best on this floor plan. The kitchen over here looks like the standard type of kitchen that you see in most townhomes, which is just kind of like that one set of cabinets up there that's over the microwave. Plus about enough, as you can see, there's three seats around your island. So that's kind of, um, you know, standard in townhomes. So when you do see a townhome that has a lot more than just that, you know, set of um, uh, cabinets around the microwave and the stove, you know, then you're getting something a little bit different. But I do like these homes for somebody that's on a budget now. Also to the rear, if you're big on sitting outside, you know, you might not be able to get too much out of it because, you know, as I showed you, there was only that little bit of, just in case if I didn't get it too well, there's only that little, little square out there of um, a pavered sitting area. So, you know, keep that in mind. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. I'm no pressure sales and I totally believe that the home should sell itself and no one should try to sell you on the home.